So, you have a fourth Matrix movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. And I have to say, it was tough to crack this one because of how the trilogy, you know, ended and the story was complete and all, all done. Right. The story was over. It was, uh, it was done with. But you figured out how to bring it back. I did, sir. I kinda did. Amazing. So let's hear it. Right, so we're gonna meet an older Neo, right? And he's a famous video game developer who made a super popular trilogy called The Matrix. Oh. And the trilogy is done, you know? The story story's complete, but the decision makers are forcing him to make a fourth one. Right. And he doesn't want to do it, but his boss is like, Warner Bros. are going to make this fourth one with or without us. Do we have a problem here? <laughs> You tell me. You want to take this outside, buddy? I would love to take this outside. Well, then let's take this outside. Fine with me. This is nice. Yeah, fresh air, right? Makes a huge difference in my mood. Gets stuffy in there sometimes. It does, yeah. <sighs> well, we should get back, though. So yeah, I figured we could spend a good chunk of the movie making fun of unnecessary sequels, you know? Just being very self-aware about the cash grabbiness of it all. Okay, but just to be sure so I can tell the shareholders, we're still gonna do that, right? We are, yeah, but by being self-aware about the cash grab, we make the cash grab clever. Oh, I love it. Take a big meta crap all over me. I can take it. Oh, meta the craps are tight. All right, so anyway, Neo has no choice but to make this fourth Matrix game, but he also feels like he's losing his mind a little bit. Oh, he does? Yeah, he's not sure what's real or not, and his therapist is making him take these blue pills. Oh, that's part of the IP. It is, yeah. So we're gonna spend a bunch of the movie just pretty much remaking the first Matrix movie, but slightly different. What do you mean? Well, we're gonna kind of discover what the Matrix is. The audience already knows what the Matrix is. They do, yeah. So we're gonna show them again and also just play a bunch of clips from the first movie. Sure, why not? We do own those. Oh, we're gonna have Morpheus in the movie, except it's not him, except it is, and he's played by a different actor. Oh, and what's he gonna do? He's gonna be in the movie. Amazing. Oh, and we're gonna have Agent Smith in the movie, except it's not him, except it is, and is played by a different actor. Oh, and what's he gonna do? Also in the movie, sir. I love it. And so eventually this team of real-world characters are gonna discover Neo in the Matrix, so they arrange this big rescue operation to get him out of the Matrix. You know, again. Wow, so what do they need him for? You know, not much, really. Oh, yeah, just kind of want to get him out of there. Dude's a legend. Kind of low stakes. Kind of, yeah. So then Neo wakes up in a gooey pod again, and he sees that Trinity is still in a pod right next to him. Now, she was an important character. She sure was, sir. And when Neo was still in the Matrix, he kept encountering Trinity, except her name was Tiffany, and she had, like, a whole family, which was super weird. Very weird. So then Neo's gonna talk to Niobe from the other sequels, except she super old now. Oh, how come? Well, sir, turns out 60 years have passed, and there was a whole machine civil war, and some of the machines sided with humans. Wow, you know, that actually sounds like a really interesting movie. Right? Anyway, so back to this one. Sure. So Neo's gonna meet Sati, who was a little girl that he spoke to in the third movie. All right. And she explains that somehow he and Trinity were resurrected. So Neo's like, oh, I gotta go save Trinity. She's still in the Matrix. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because see, if he doesn't get her out of the Matrix, she might take her fake Matrix kids to soccer practice or something. Eh, that does sound awful. So Neo and that team of characters head back into the Matrix, and they encounter a bunch of exiled programs they have to fight. Oh boy, yeah, it's gonna be amazing. And obviously we'll get Keanu to do a bunch of incredible hand-to-hand -hand combat. Eh, something wrong. Well, you know, his schedule's kinda nuts these days. I don't know how much fight choreography we can really do with him. Oh! Oh, okay. Is that all right? Kind of a big part of the Matrix movies. Uh, right, so not a huge deal. Kind of a huge deal. Oh, you know what? Maybe he can move things with his mind. Kind of a force push situation. Uh... Okay, yeah, sure, so whenever Neo gets into some kind of conflict, he kind of just force pushes people away from him just over and over and over again. That'll be very fun to watch. It might be. You know, let's roll the dice. Yeah, roll them! So eventually Neo's gonna see his therapist, who it turns out is this program called The Analyst, who made this new Matrix. Okay. And he's gonna kind of trap him in time using the power that defined Neo against him. You know, bullet time. Wasn't bullet time the name of the filming technique to show Neo's abilities and not the ability it's 
itself. That's certainly possible. So this guy is gonna use bullet time. Oh, very cool. And he's gonna explain that keeping Neo and Trinity close together could power the Matrix, but if they got too close, they became too powerful. All right. And eventually they do get close, and now they need to escape the Matrix together. Oh boy, do they have agents after them? No, 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 agents aren't really a thing anymore. Now they use this thing called swarm mode. Swarm mode? Yeah, see, what they do is they take over a bunch of people and kind of turn them into zombies that just throw themselves at the good guys. So now the machines waste a bunch of batteries instead of just a few. That's their new strategy, yeah. So then Neo, I guess, uses his force push a whole bunch. Very exciting. And that's gonna lead to him and Trinity needing to jump off a building. Oh man, it's gonna be hard to get out of that situation. Actually, it's gonna be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yes, he turns out Trinity can fly. Oh. Yeah, you know, used to be Neo, now it's Trinity, so that's how that, you know, that, that works out. Why? Because that works. And so, yeah, that's about it. What do you think? Well, you know, it's, uh, what's the story exactly? Ah, uh, how can I explain, um... Uh, have you ever had a dream where you you did you could you want you you could you had to you would you you what you you had you could you want you you want them to do you so much you can do anything? Yes, of course. So pretty much that. Okay, got it. Well, I mean, sounds good. You know, it's a Matrix movie, so it's gonna kill at the box office. You know it. Hey everybody, Ryan here. Hope you enjoyed that video. And if you liked it, feel free to click the like button and the subscribe button and all, you know, buttons of that nature. There are also like hundreds of other episodes on the channel that you can check out if you want. Also leave a comment down below letting me know what other movies you want to see pitches for. And check back soon for a new one, because there's going to be new ones, you know? Okay, bye.